Proudly we hail. And now another proudly we hail. One of radio's outstanding dramatic half hours starring Lee Tracy and presented transcribed by your Army and your Air Force. From Radio City, New York, here is your star and host on Proudly We Hail, the distinguished Broadway stage, screen, and radio star, Lee Tracy. Thank you, Kenneth Banghart, and hello, everyone. Welcome again to Proudly We Hail. Our play takes us to France in 1793 for a tale of suspense and terror during the French Revolution. After Ken's short message, we'll be ready to begin the first act. The United States Air Force needs trained veterans now. Yes, the Air Force needs radio and radar technicians, engine mechanics, communications technicians, weather technicians, and many other specialists. If you have such a critical skill, you can re-enlist if qualified in the grades you held when you were honorably discharged or even in a higher grade. For complete details, go to your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station today. And now with your star Lee Tracy in the role of John, your Army and your Air Force present the proudly we hail production of Ride by Night. and the reign of terror holds all France in its terrible grip. Madame Guillotine is queen, and the world has gone mad within her kingdom. The revolution has reached its bloody climax, and no one within the borders of France is safe from its terrible wrath. A new calendar has been adopted. The days of the month changed. Old religion has been swept away, and in its place has been instituted the worship of reason. Reason where there is no reason, only chaos. And a madman named Robespierre rules. Oh, there! The citizen is in a hurry. Wrong. The citizen is not in a hurry. He didn't see you squatting there like a beetle. Your papers, and be quick. The citizen is in a hurry. Huh. There. Hold your tongue. Hmm. From America. Jonathan Holt, Esquire. Hmm. And what brings you to France? I wanted to find out if it was true that everybody was interested in everybody else's business. It is true, Citizen Holt. We are all equal here. Where are you bound for? The moon. And I'll thank you for my paper. Not so fast. How do I know these are not forged? How do I know you are not an aristo? How does an American speak French so well? My mother, poor woman, happened to be born in your fair land. Thus, my knowledge of the language. As for the other, you'll have to take my word for ah. it. Ah! Why should I take your word for anything? I can see from your ugly face that such a suggestion is pointless. So, hand over those papers before I put a bullet in your head. Why, you... Put it you... down! All right. Now throw your rifle over there in the bushes. Come on. Come on! I don't have all day. The citizen will regret this. Now, hand me those papers and no tricks. I mean business. Now, friend guard, listen well. In my country, we treat our visitors with kindness. We make them welcome. You should learn a little of it. You want to know where I'm bound for? Ask with courtesy, and I don't mind telling you. This road leads to Paris. That's where I'm bound. Good day. <laughs> A friend, a friend from across the sea. You, you are Jonathan Holt? At your service, ma'am. Well, come in quickly. You must not be seen here. Uh, I wouldn't worry. They're all down by the square. No one saw me. I'm sorry I can make no light. Come into the back. We have a candle there. 
Give me your hand, I'll lead you. They don't know we're here. Sorry I wasn't able to get here sooner. We had a real rough passage. That you have come at all is a noble thing. What about Philip? Uh, here we are. Uh, you were, you're our Aline? Yes. Who's that? My father. He's asleep. He's not well, and he's very weary. You live here in this shell of a house? Yes, there's nowhere else to go. They do not come here. Is Philip still? Yes, in prison. Have you seen him? Only from a distance. Oh, poor Philip, he's been there for over six months. And they'll kill him soon. Oh, maybe that will be better. Then we can stop this foolish hoping and go away. Is it possible to bribe the guard? Monsieur Holt in France today, it is possible to bribe anyone. This is the age of reason. I must go now. We can never thank you or repay you for coming here like this. Somehow, now that you're here, I, I do not feel it is so, so hopeless. And my father will be most happy when I tell him. I can't promise a thing, but... Regardless of what happens, I'll see to it that no harm comes to you or your father. Uh, you're a very gallant man and probably not a little foolish. You must watch your tongue and go very carefully. <laughs> That's good advice for anyone. I'll be back tomorrow night. Now remember, mademoiselle, if the Bastille could be broken into, then this prison can be broken out of. Good morning, citizen. Is it, citizen? Well, better than some, not as good as others. You're in charge here, the, uh, the commandant. So? My papers. Uh, ah, an American. One would never know from the way you speak. The inheritance of a French mother. You do not come to France in a very happy time. So I've been able to see. Where will it end? Uh, I don't know, citizen Holt. Perhaps Robespierre can tell you. What do you wish in this place? May I shut the door? It is better not to. People get suspicious, and before you know it, Citizen Ducrot is riding in a car to the guillotine. I'd like to see one of your prisoners. I thought as much. It's against the rules. Would uh, this change the rules? Ah, get that out of sight, monsieur. Uh, who is this prisoner you wish to see? His name is André de... Villemorin. Ah, yes, the Duke de Villemorin. He has little time left. How is it that you know him? I might have been in America. I heard he was here, and I thought the least I could do was to try and make what few hours he has left mm, a little more comfortable. Such a gracious gesture. You Americans are touching. Well? Quiet. Citizen Ducot is thinking. If you were to put what I saw you take out of your pocket between the open pages of this ledger, I think it might be arranged... In a few minutes, the prisoners will be allowed to air themselves in the courtyard. I shall give you the pass of a prison inspector. Go through that door and down the steps. The guard at the gate will let you in. And when you're through, and I will not stay too long, return here. Agree? Agree. How am I ever going to find him in this crowd? Philip. Now, uh, uh, don't turn around. Don't turn around. It's me, Jonathan. Jonathan? How did you... No, no, never mind that. I'm supposed to be seeing a Duke de Villemoron. <laughs> I didn't want him to know I was seeing you. Just answer my questions. Do you know how much time you've got? No. You never know. I've been here a long time. I shouldn't think I had much. All right. I brought a black wig and a pair of spectacles. Can you keep them hidden? Yes, but that won't work. Now don't you... argue, don't argue. Put your back to me and I'll hand them to you. Stuff them up your sleeve. How'd you get in here? The uh, commandant and I are old friends. Can you tell if anyone is watching us? I doubt it. It's too crowded. All right. Now walk around in front of me. I'm going to give you some money and a prison inspector's pass. Well, how can you get out without the pass? Well, let me worry about that. The man who let me in here is... I'm going to find it prudent not to say anything about a missing slip of paper which might cost him his head. Is there any way of finding out if your name is on the death list before it's read off? No, not that I know of. And we've got to trust to your luck for another day. Tomorrow, as soon as they let you out here, put on the wig and the spectacles. 
You can't help someone seeing you do it, but try and arrange so they're your friends. I can do that without any trouble, then what? After you've been here about half an hour, go to that gate there. Mm -hmm. Give the guard your pass, and when he asks to see your papers, hand him the money. But my clothes, look at them, they're in rags. He wouldn't dare let me out, money or not. I'm going to leave my cloak and my hat on this bench. Carry them on your arm. Jonathan, it's wonderful of you to try and help me like this, but it can't work. Oh, they but are... if it does fail, you're going to be no worse off than you are right now. It's worth the chance, Philip. The only chance that I can think of. Now, when, when the guard lets you out of the courtyard, go along the corridor as boldly as you can, as though you own this stinking pest hole. The way this place is laid out, I'm sure it'll bring you to the east gate. I'll be there to help you out. Now, how are you going to get out of here without a pass? My papers are all in order, and I've found that money is the key to many doors. i got to go, Philip. There's still much to be done. Uh, have you seen Aline and my father? Yes, yes, last night. It was her letter that brought me. Good old Jonathan. More tricks than the monkey. I'll see you tomorrow, Philip, at the East Gate. If you're not there, I'll know something went wrong. We'll have to think of another scheme. If I'm not there, there won't be any more schemes. I can't let you out without a pass. How will this do for a pass? Uh, the crow would have my head for this, but the man must be reasonable. Tomorrow afternoon? Oh, I can't believe it. Now, here is what you must do. Hold on, citizen. You seem to be over-anxious to leave our little palace. Well, there's truth enough in that. A stench would drop an elephant. Unbar the gate. Unbar the gate, citizen. It is easy enough to unbar for those who enter, but for those who wish to leave, it is another matter. Your paper, sir, weak stomach. Perhaps this pass will satisfy you. Ah, citizen inspector. I'm beginning to think all of France is made up of citizen inspectors. Perhaps you can tell me how this happens to bear yesterday's date? Since we have seen fit to change the calendar around, I don't wonder the days get mixed up. Don't blame me for your incompetence. Uh, now open the gate. I haven't all day. Not so fast. Let's have a look at your papers, Mr. Know-it-all. You think... Hey, a big red-nosed ox. Hey, you. Come on out here, brickhead. Stupid head of yours. Ah, get away from here, you're drunk. <laughs> drunk, huh? <laughs> you bet I'm drunk. What else can a decent Frenchman do? Dogs like you are given authority. Age you, jackass. If you don't hold your tongue, I'll report you to the prefect. Come on out here and hold it for me. I'll, I'll mop up the gutter with you. Well, we'll see about that. Ah, ah, forth he comes. Citizen. Come look at that picture of France today. Just let me get my hands on you. I lean it, Wendy. I must go. Stop him. Come back here, you, you coward. Don't try and catch me. Rumble belly. Pigs. Scum of the street. Rats. Dogs. Lee Tracy, starring in the role of John in the proudly we hail production of Ride by Night, will return for the second act in just a moment. Here's a word about the vital job young women are doing in the United States Air Force. Women in the Air Force work on equal terms with the men, are doing interesting jobs, jobs of vital importance in support of the United States Air Force. How about you young women between the ages of 18 and 34? Can you qualify in the WAF? Stop in at your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station for full details. You are listening to Proudly We Hail. And now your Army and your Air Force present the second act of Ride by Night. Did Philip get here? Yes. Yes, he got here. Oh, where is he? Huh. What? What's the matter? He's in there with Father. Father won't be going. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Thank you. 
He was very tired. Helene's told you? Yes, Philip. I, I, I don't like to rush you, but time is precious. Every second of it. We've got to leave right away. I know. Perhaps it's for the best. Father would have been only a burden. Never would have wanted to be that. You mean we, we can't even... He's with God. That's all that matters, Eileen. The rest... Well, it's ceremony. We have no time for it. John, you were superb. I thought my goose was cooked. I didn't even recognize you until you started to howl at the guard. We can talk about that later. Eileen, you look fine in those peasant clothes, but you look too clean. Get your hands good and dirty and smear dirt on your face. Pull your hair down. Make it look straggly. You look... Yeah, just right, Phil. I should, after six months in that stinking hole. I'll change my clothes and we'll get started. i got to get out of Paris before they close the gates at sundown. With luck, they won't know you've escaped until tomorrow. We've got to put as much distance between us and this place as we can. Where are you going? To say goodbye to my father. How'd you ever get this rig? I bought it from a hungry farmer, as well as the clothes. How... How can we get through the gate without papers? I have papers. Now, here's what we'll do. Ho there! Ho! Ah! Uh, here are my papers. Now, to those two sleeping beauties back there, they have... They have no papers. They're escaping aristos. <laughs> I can believe that. <laughs> you should. I can tell you another. I'm... I'm not really Pierre Blanchard. I'm the ghost of, uh... Of Louis on its way to England. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this one, Jacques. He's got a belly full of wine or he's gone mad. No, ah, no, they're, they're the ones that are full of wine. I'm just in a hurry to get out of here before someone accuses me of plotting against the Republic and goes... <laughs> yes, <laughs> I know. I know. France is mad. We're all mad. Here. Pass on, Pierre Blanchard. You just made it in time. The sun is nearly down. We'll close the gates now. Can't go any faster. We'll attract attention. Somehow we got to ditch this thing and get hold of some horses. We should be almost to Saint-Germain. Why don't we leave the cart on the outskirts and walk into town? We might be able to buy some horses. No, we're apt to be noticed. In these clothes, people can't afford to buy horses. After dark, no one buys a horse unless he wants to arouse suspicion. Well, what do you suggest, then? I suggest that we skirt Saint-Germain altogether and head north. That'll leave us two escape routes, either Calais and a ship to England, or crossing over into Belgium. Well, that still doesn't tell us how we're going to get horses. I know. Well, we just have to go on like this for a while. Trust to luck. That must be the stable there. I should think so. I'd say the town was tucked in for the night. Helene, you stay right here. We won't be long. But suppose something happens to you. Nothing is going to happen to us. If it does, try to get to the border. Oh, oh the man jokes. Come on, Phil. We'll be back soon, Eileen. And with horses. Who goes there? Who? Uh, uh, here. Here. Here's some rope. Tie him up. Gag him. I'll get the horses. Almost daylight. Had a long ride. That pine woods there. Looks like a good spot to hide for the day. What about food? That's what's in the sack. Not much. We'll have to make it last. <laughs> Is there anything that you don't think of? I can answer that. No. Ride along the bank of the river and cross by forty? It's in flood. We could never do it. This is the only way. But there are guards at either end of the bridge. And if that patroller went by during the day was looking for us, they'll be on the lookout down there. Yeah, yeah, true enough. Still, we've got to cross or make a wide detour. 
Men forget about Calais and the bargain. Mm. Well, if we rush them... No, no good. The bridge is too long. They'd be waiting for us at the other end. Oh, it, it, it seems hopeless. Well, bluff has worked before. Got to make it work again. Aline, tie up your hair in this neckcloth. Philip, give her your jacket. You can wear my pants. Oh, but... Now, don't worry, I wore these things over the clothes I had on. Now, this is our... This is our plan. Oh! The bridge! Hey! Wake up there! Ah! Put that blasted torch down and stop gaping like the hollow-headed ape you are. Has anyone... Anyone passed over this bridge in the last two hours? Why... Why, no, sir. Not that I've seen. Are you sure, fool? Think hard. May mean your dirty neck. There, there was only the coach, sir. But that was just after sundown. The coach? The coach, you imbecile. And you let them cross? Well, their, their, their papers were all in order. They were stamped by the... Stamped by the devil? They were forged. Didn't the patrol give you a warning to be on the lookout for an escaped enemy of the Republic? Well, did they? Yeah, yes, sir. But they said well, there were probably three of them, and there were four in the carriage. Ah, you idiot. One of them was a prisoner of the other three. Lift the gate and thank your patron saint that I'm in such a hurry. Open it up, I say. Forward. What are we doing to get ahead? Jump and ride for your life. I say we make for the border. They can't watch every foot of it, whereas they can watch their docks at Calais. I agree. That yeah, seems our best hope. Our horses are nearly done in. We've come a long way in four days. Do you know of any particular place that would be best to cross over? Well, this is the road to Cambrai. I say we pass to the south of it and head for Le Cateau. Then make for Maubeuge and cross on the north side of the Sambre. You know the country? Somewhat. Good. Now we'd better find a place to rest for the day. <laughs> they seem to be as impatient as we to be gone. Oh, we owe them a lot. Are you ready, Philip? Ready. All right. You lead. Who knows? Perhaps by tomorrow we'll be in Belgium. We made good time. I was look at toe back there. Yeah, I know. Well, where's the river? The somber's over there to the right. We'll, uh, we'll parallel it. Well, are we going to stop soon? It's getting light. I say let's keep going. We're nearly there. We have no more food. The horses, if we let them stop, probably won't be able to start again. Another two hours should put us across. It's not safe, Phil. Nothing is safe, Jonathan. We've had good luck so far. Seen nothing of any patrol since we crossed the bridge. Why, Dally, our luck won't last forever. Well, uh, something in what you say. But I've always found it's better not to take a chance unless you have to. What do you say, Aline? Oh, it would be wonderful to cross the border today. Oh, I guess I'm overruled. Well, we better get as close as we can before sunup. We feel naked riding in the daylight. Nobody's paid much attention to us. No. Now, how much farther? Huh? Oh, oh, no! Right into the arms of a patrol. A patrol, they couldn't be behind us. They would have to be in front of us. Well, we'd better start moving. North is best. They trap us at the river. Come on! Yeah. They're gaining on us. Do you see? Do you see where the road makes a sharp turn around these woods? Yes. As soon as we reach it, pull into the woods and stop. The brow of this hill will hide us. When they come over it, they'll think we've gone on around the curve. They've stopped shooting. They can't do much shooting over the top of a hill. All right, now rein up. Follow me. Here they come. Ah. Oh. Start praying. Easy there, old boy. 
they're, they're pulling up. No. No, they're following the road. We don't have a moment to lose. Forget the road. We'll take to the fields and head straight for the border. Come on. I think we gave him a slip. Well, where's the border? Seems we've been riding for hours. Well, I, I don't know. Seems we should have been there long ago. I. Well... <laughs> Jonathan, put down your pistol. It's no good. They've got us. Good morning, gentlemen. What? You look like you've ridden far and hard. I come upon many like you these days. Welcome to Belgium. Belgium. Ah, I beg your pardon, mademoiselle. I mistook you for a man in those clothes. Captain, do you mean we're... Really, in Belgium? But of course. You'll follow me. I'll take you where you can eat and rest. Then you can tell us about yourselves. You know, it's a pleasure to meet you. A real pleasure. <laughs> Lead on, Captain. We're at your service. Our star, Lee Tracy, will return with a word about next week's program in just a moment. Here's a word to Air Force veterans. If you've had the necessary training and experience, you can enlist in your old grade or better. Skip basic training and be assigned initially to a nearby Air Force base. This holds good for veterans of other services, too, who have had the kind of special training the Air Force needs. If you are qualified in radio, radar, maintenance, weather, armament, photography, and many other fields, there's a place for you. Stop at your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station and find out where you are needed on one of the world's greatest teams. Enlist in the Air Force now. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail presented in cooperation with this station by the United States Army and the United States Air Force Recruiting Service. Proudly we hail stars Lee Tracy. Ride by Night was written by DeWitt Cop. The music was composed and conducted by John Guarnieri. This program was produced under the supervision of Charles and Rogers Productions and directed by Charles Wilkes. This is Kenneth Banghart speaking, and here again is your host and star, Lee Tracy. Join us again next week for Proudly we hail over the same station, won't you? Our play is a moving drama entitled Final Choice, a story of a man's decision, a decision which might mean life or death. Until then, goodbye. Goodbye.